is a familiar face here on News Channel 5. You see her every afternoon as a national correspondent on Inside Edition. Megan Alexander writes about her high profile career and how she's been able to stay true to her beliefs in an industry that isn't always welcoming to people of faith. Her new book is called Faith in the Spotlight. It's a great read. I really enjoyed it. So nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me, Meryl. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. And this is home for you. A lot of folks don't know that you live in Nashville. Yeah, for three years now, I have commuted from Nashville, Tennessee to New York City to work on Inside Edition early in the week. And then later in the week, I joined my husband and two boys here. So it's been a wonderful home base for us for the past couple years. Yeah, you're such a busy mom, busy, uh, you know, work woman as well. How in the world did you have time to write a book? And I, why did you want to write I it? I wrote this book on the plane. All those <laughs> right? flights from Nashville, Tennessee to New York City. That was my time yeah. to get out my laptop and write. And the, I wanted to write this book uh, because I got an email a couple years ago from a pastor in Seattle. And he wrote to me and said, Megan, I have a church full of young, ambitious women of faith with big career goals and dreams. They are worried they're going to need to compromise their faith to get ahead, hmm. especially in secular society. He said, I know a few people to point them towards, especially in entertainment. I know of you. Will you come speak to my church and encourage these girls? I said, I'd love to. I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to write this book. So it's my hope that the book is a practical guide. We tackle that conversation from a variety of angles. This is what it looks like. If you're a believer, you can do it. Yeah, and it, it has not always been easy for you right? as you've gone through your life. Talk about some of the examples of uh, when you've actually had to step out in faith and say, I'm not really able to do this because of what I believe in. Sure. Well, for me, it's never been one big thing. It's been a lot of small moments and I try to encourage people to just be present in the moment small little uh, instances one example is inside edition covers the red carpets the Academy Awards the Golden Globes and then the next day we talk about the fashions for example if Angelina Jolie wore a $20,000 dress we'll me the female reporter will model that dress but find one that's maybe a hundred dollars yeah. say viewers you can dress just like her well a certain reality star had walked the carpet a couple years ago in a very revealing dress. And I was asked to model a similar look the next day. Showed way too much skin. Good for her, it just wasn't my thing. I was like, I just don't think this dress is for me. So I said no, and the stylist put the stylist pushed back on me pretty hard and said, you need to wear this dress. And I said, no, I really, it's not my thing. And so I try to encourage people, work the problem. I said, mm -hmm. no, but I said, here's a plan B. Here's an option B. A, a supermodel, Heidi Klum, had worn another dress that I was comfortable wearing. I said, I know we can do this. Let's figure this out. We're under deadline. We worked as a team. So that's just a, a small example. If it can be a win-win for everybody, you can still feel good about what you're doing, sure. but deliver for the show. I want people to know if that is possible. Each chapter is introduced by a famous person that a lot of us will know. Um, tell us how you got these folks involved in the book. Yeah, well, in Inside Edition, I've been on the show for eight years, and you know we cover a little bit of everything in society, business, culture, entertainment, and I've gotten to know some of these folks, Roma Downey and Mark Burnett, when I interviewed them for the Bible series, big role models of mine. Uh, I got them to write the intro for the first chapter, A Seat at the Table, because I believe like them that in order to change culture, we need to engage directly with culture. And the cool thing, Meryl, is I really started realizing there's a lot of believers out there, whether it's Gabby Douglas, who I worked with on the Super Bowl, she wrote for me, Kirk Cousins, quarterback for the Washington. Washington Redskins, Michael W. Smith, and a few folks that just simply believed in the message that just said, hey, I, want, I appreciate that you're encouraging young women to think highly of themselves. They jumped on board too. So hopefully it's a, a look at some of these people in a different way. Like Michael W. Smith writes about hustling early on in his career. That was neat. Yeah, a lot of great encouragement in this book, whether you want to be in an enter entertainment industry or any other industry. Great stuff in here. Thank so you. So great to see you. You too. Thank you so much. Megan's going to be signing copies of her new book tomorrow night at 6 to 8 at Parnassus Books in Green Hills. And you can watch for her, of course, on Inside Edition weekdays at 4.30 right after News Channel 5 at 4.